Now this one now is why is Rosters still selling crack cocaine to their own black race? Okay? And heroin. Okay? And killing their own black people. I've been trying to teach you the history and you're not, not listening and taking heed. Okay. You have two old tribes. Boba Shanti. Hi, Biggie. Selling the big in the biggest distributors of the devil drug. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm at work with. Mm -hmm. And they wonder why Rasta's in a state of dilapidation. Mm -hmm. And why Rasta's walking around with mental health problems. Yeah. A lot of you are walking around with mental health problems. But you know why, don't you? Mm -hmm. Because you worked with a demonic drug to destroy your own black race. Mm -hmm. And now a lot of Uno are now become homeless and you're in hostels, homeless hostels and all kind of things. But years ago, you was mashing it up on the street, mashing up your own black grace. I'm a one Uno. And now, none of Uno have nothing to show for your distribution of the devil drug to your own black grace. None of Uno. Right? You all become homeless. Okay? Where's your big ass and the pussy claw ill? Hmm? You haven't got none. Tell me something, my people. You know all these rosters who you see? These dreaded, dreaded dreads who's got locks on their head, who claim they don't eat pork, but they're selling crack and heroin. They're, they're happy to say, I'm an art eat pork, I'm an art eat swine, but happy to say I'm the one of the biggest crack distributors known to mankind. I'm trying to get to Pablo Escobar status. I'm trying to get to El Chapo status. You dig? And I'm trying to teach you all around the world, all of you people who's got locks on your head, who's working with this drug. What you're saying, you know, I work with the swine. Cut off your locks, okay, and put it in a dumper, in a dumper. Put it in the bin, okay? Because you can't come and tell me, okay, that eating swine, one rasta eating swine, eating pig to himself, all you are going to do is kill yourself, don't. No. Right? You're not taking that pig and giving it to other people, are you? Right. But what are you doing with the opposite of the pig? The, the, the crack cocaine and the heroin. You are giving it to your own our people, selling it. Right? Right. Making your people weak, Rasta. Supposed to be Rasta. How are you supposed to have locks on your head top? Have turban on your head? Saying you're representing something powerful. Something powerful about the black race. Within, I and I is a representation of the black race. And teaching the black race. Half a repatriate back to Africa. Teaching the black race about reparations. Getting what's owed to us for what our ancestors had to endure. From the hands of the Massa. But yet still, I and I. Go take out this two bag of crack, crack cocaine from my body, you or from my mouth, from in the deep in my throat, and shot it to black people. And when the black people can't afford it, when I see the black people hand on their hands and knees, begging me for a free piece of crack, begging me for a free piece of heroin, crying, vomiting, begging that Rasta to save me, Rasta man, save me, please save me, Rasta. I need my fix, please. Tick me, tick me. I'll give you the money, my money on my next dole check, on my next welfare check. Please, please. Hmm? And the Rasta's taking all the, the, the um credit card and saying, well, may I go all that till you get peer? I know if you, may I go get when you get peer. All right, may I go take your, your all my money you owe me. And leave that drunky with nothing. That's what Heidi Sassy told you not to do, innit? Yeah. That's what Marcus Garvey told Uno to do, innit? Yeah. Isn't that right? Mm hmm. So, that's why I will keep on exposing you fucking filthy dreaded dreads, okay? Until each one of Uno cut every piece of locks and beard Uno have on you, your facial hair. And just go like fucking nigger Kojak, I said. Okay? Right. 
Now you all know who Nicky Kojak was. He was a big artist from back in the day in Yard. You see me I say? Right. I'm trying to teach you the history you dreaded filthy dreads. Okay? Who's the, who's the biggest distributor? I'm, I'm not, we're not talking about the dreaded filthy dreads now. I'm talking about only the ones who's bringing Rasta, black people, down on their hands and knees, begging them for crack cocaine, begging the Rasta, man and woman, for crack cocaine. Because it's both of honor. It's woman and man too. Because you Rasta women are hiding up the drugs in our yard. <coughs> Everywhere in our yard for your man. You're all in and out together. You're hiding up the drugs in our pitney nappy. I've seen it in my own eyes. It's fuck off. I see Rasta sending their own granny with shopping trolleys, with, with guns, bags of drugs, every pussy clot thing. The whole family ain't I. You overstand to understand the concept. Dreaded, filthy fucking dreads. And I'm not going to stop until I drive all of you fucking crack Rasta sellers, heroin sellers, down to the gutter where you belong. Down to the gutter where you bring in the other black race. All your black fiends that you made be fiends. Black people. Who you turn into fiends. Wow. Wow. You think me I got to stop on honor? I just started. I'm here to clean this shit up. Why? Because your motherfucking people who you put as heroes. They don't talk like this. Your sizzlers and muta barukas and don't, don't They don't come with this. Okay, you know why they don't pussy clock come with it, don't you? Because them all of them mix up in AI. They got all of them got too much burden, so the biggest distributors of this drug around them. You mix and you mix up with them. You too mix up with them. You sleep with my enemies. You're sleeping with my enemy. The crap, the Rasta crap man, the Rasta Aaron man is my enemy. And you're colluding with my enemy. So you're all my fucking enemies. Okay, I tan alone. My movement tans alone from you, know. Okay? If your heart ain't clean, you can't come in my fucking movement. Okay? Okay? That's what we're talking about. You lot, we keep our filthy swine heart. And we yam up our pig while you lot, because we're not killing the black fucking race with this devil drug like you lot are. Okay? Our heart is cleaner than yours. Okay, if you if I'm the symbol of the pig, what are you the symbol of? What are you the symbol of? What are you the symbol of? You reckon the pig is the filthiest animal on this planet and is here to clean up the fucking mess? What the rusters is fucking making? You damn right. You damn right. That's why you look and look, look. We in the UK, we call the Babylon the pigs, the police, the pigs. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Who is in this picture? The pig is cleaning up the mess. What the filthy, dirty, worse pussy clot pig, the real pig, is d d leaving their shit all over the pig's sty. Their crack cocaine shit, the fiends, the black fiends that they're making into black slaves. Holding the Rasta man's ankle, holding the Rasta woman's ankle, dragging them on the floor, begging that Rasta. The Rasta, do you feel powerful when you when you're in that position? You feel powerful in it. But we'll hear what now? Look how you are in that picture. Who's the powerful one? That pig is putting the filthiest pig it back in at a sty and locking it. Okay, okay, in that in that pig sty of a station. Okay, right. Because the Rasta is no longer... You see, there's a pig who's the police. And there's the hog. There's the hog. Rastas replace the pig. And they become the hog, which is worse than the pig. You understand? So I'm going to keep on bringing this Rasta liberty to the masses. Go and eat pig. See? Before you sell crack and heroin. Why? you only killing yourself if the pig is the pig. I go really kill you. Alright, but yet still, the Chinese are eating the pig, Italians are eating the pig every day and they're out living on who claim that you don't eat pig, right? Probably, probably, think about this one, why does the Chinese live longer than the fucking Rasta and they're eating pig? Probably, because I don't really see no Chinaman 
trying to kill their own race with crack, cocaine and heroin. Have you noticed that? Have you noticed that? You know what them people all from Thailand and Thailand bring weed, Thai weed. That's why it's called Thai weed. Um, the other people from Singapore and, and all them other countries, they, they came to England and they became the biggest skunk growers, weed manufacturers in the UK. And they're from that region. They now work at cocaine and heroin, crack. They leave that for the black people, the Rasta and the Bali to destroy your own black race. Why is a Chinese man going to destroy their own black race? They're too clever than that. They're too Japan, China, Korea, South Korea, they, Philippines. They don't work with that. Because they, they're about making their race stronger. Okay, so them just yam the pig a little further. Why uno sell your crack cocaine a little further to kill your own black race? So how could you really come and speak to me? You can't, can you? None of uno. Right. So leave my movement alone. Let us save the black race, okay, from the hands of the dreaded rosters and the black ball lids who is killing my black race. It's that simple. Okay, leave the swine eating motherfuckers over here. Okay, to save Uno. Okay, because to save you people. And each Rasta man who's in me is incarcerated right now for selling crack cocaine and heroin. Okay, I really hope you don't actually make it out of jail. I really hope you're actually dead in a prison. That's the contempt I have for all of you. Okay, subscribe to prescribe your antidote.